So have it reached out to me probably about, I don't know, a month and a half ago, I don't know why that's important, um, to see if I would be interested in checking out their mechanical keyboards and having a bit of a peruse on their website and looking at the fact that these keyboards were quite cheap that had a very, very interesting sort of color profile, which you guys will see in a second. Uh, I was actually very, very interested. So let's get this keyboard out of the bag, which I mean, I've kind of already done. So when you get it out of the bag, it says here, hello, thanks for choosing Habit, which I think is kind of cool. It's a very minimalistic looking box, nothing too much to give away in terms of, you know, what it's gonna look like on the inside. I haven't really had a proper look at this keyboard other than the images on the website. A um, lot of positive reviews from what I've been able to find on social media about this product, which is why I was kind of interested in finding it. I get a lot of companies reaching out to me about keyboards and a lot of them, if they don't have good reviews and stuff like that, or they're not really, really cheap, um, I'm not too interested in. But this one had a lot of reviews and it's cheap, so there must be something good about it. So yeah, pretty plain packaging. Get it out of the box here and very, very plain, very, very simple, which is good. I guess it probably keeps the cost down. Um, get the keyboard out of the box here. I'll try and do this all in the frame. Little card here, we'll see what that says in a second. Really nothing in this box at all, other than, yeah, just some cardboard. Cable, will pull that through. Literally just the keyboard and two documents and a key cap puller. So literally that is it. No documentation really other than those two little very, very small pages. So this one here says, uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny actually. I don't know if it's meant to fold in half, but it says on this side, it says like, and then it says thumbs down. So like, thumbs down. I don't know. I think that's <laughs> kind of funny. And then on the inside here, it basically tells you where the company's from. Um, how much warranty, so 18 month warranty on this product, which is pretty good for a $66 product. Um, are you happy with our product? Our customer service agents will do everything possible to resolve your complaint. If there's anything, if there's any problem with our product, just let us know and we'll fix it. That's kind of nice, it's kind of reassuring. Hey, we're super pumped, you like our products. We love making our customers happy. Customers happy. It makes us happy to hear you had a great experience with us. Um, you can chat about the product and go on social media and you can do all that. And then this one here is just, I think, a little very, very slim and basic product manual. One side I think is in Chinese and the other side is in English. Um, but we'll talk a bit, a bit more about the key layout later. Um, being a mechanical keyboard, you can obviously pull the keycaps off and you know check out the switches and do that if you want to. So they include that as well. And then the cable, so it's USB-A, so that's just going to go into the back of your computer. And then the cable itself is 1.5 meters long and it is a nice braided kind of ropey cable, which is, I think, quite nice, especially when you're paying, you know, very, very small amount of money, you wouldn't expect to get a nice cable like that, but that's cool, that's included. And then the keyboard itself. So, like I said, this is kind of my first impressions on this keyboard, I haven't actually used it at all yet. And it's kind of different as you can see, like the orange, cream, black kind of color scheme is a little bit unique. I haven't seen too many keyboards like this. Um, something that makes this keyboard quite unique is that you have a number pad still up on the top right hand corner here. Um, but it is a much smaller keyboard in terms of like it's full width. So it's not gonna take up too much more space than having a regular you know, 60% keyboard without that section there. Um, so having this optional sort of extra built into the top right corner is very handy, especially if you're in spreadsheets or, you know, you're doing Excel and numbers and that kind of stuff quite often. I don't know what you think about the, I don't know, the keycap color scheme. It's kind of retro, it's kind of old school. It's not really a white, like it's a off, it's like an off white cream eggshell kind of color. Um, but these keycaps, you can just go ahead and literally just pull them off with your hand. But the switches, you can't change the switches out. And from what I've seen on the website, there's only one switch type. There's only the red. It's a Jixon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jixon. No, Jixian. Jixian red linear switch. Um, someone on Reddit said that they're very similar to like a Cherry MX, but kind of they're not Cherry certified. They're kind of just maybe their own ripoff version. Um, but very, very nice on first impressions. Like it's very, I don't know if you guys can sort of hear that, but there's hardly any like 
clack with the keys, like everything is dampened quite a bit. Um, it weighs about a kilo, kilo and 50 grams or 1,050 grams is what they say on the website. The cable is actually tethered, so you can't pull that out, which might be a problem for some of you who I know have, you know, your own, you know, modified USB cables going into these keyboards. Um, but, you know, for $66, for the fact that it's all sort of, you know, built in is, is quite nice. There's no RGB, there's no backlight. Um, the number pad, though, does actually light up when you do want to sort of activate the number, uh, number pad. So I think it's function, from what I've read, function, and then the number lock. Um, key which is the backspace turns on the number pad and then when you press it again to turn it off it just goes back to being a regular like page up page down home insert delete all that kind of stuff so you can sort of toggle on toggle off the number pad but in terms of ergonomics there is a bit of shape I don't know if you can see here on the shot but there is a little bit of a, a shape going with the keyboard so it is meant to be slightly ergonomic to make typing a little bit more comfortable um, but all in all it's actually a really nice looking keyboard the actual body here, you've got the little Habit logo um, on the edge here, which is a nice little touch that they've done. Um, I kind of like that it's all matted out and it's all just completely not glossy at all. Um, PBT keycaps are generally speaking very, very durable as well. So in terms of like the longevity of these keycaps, um, I think these are gonna last you a long time, but you can change them if you do want to change them with your own ones, if you do have that uh, up your sleeve in the future. Um, bottom side, it's just got the model number and the serial number. Um, interestingly, they've put the dimensions here, which is pretty cool. So 358 millimeters by 130 millimeters by 40 millimeters. So I guess 40 would be the thickest point. 130 would be this section here, which is the width of the keyboard. And then 358, the total width from one side to the other. So that's kind of the specs for it. Um, you get some adjustable feet here. You get some little rubber feet on the bottom as well. These are actually really nice. It's gonna mean that it doesn't slide around. You know, like this is a gloss surface and like I'm pushing on that quite a bit and that's that's hardly moving. So really solid feet. You can raise it or just have it sort of flat if you wanna do it flat. And then on the side, you can see here just, you know, for added effect, there's a bit of, you know, cut out into the plastic. So it's very, um, I don't know. It's a very retro keyboard. I feel like this is the keyboard that maybe people would have, I don't know, loved to have had with their Atari back in the 80s or something like that. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Do you think it's cool? <laughs> librarian keyboard, 100%, yeah. You can imagine some librarian being like, you know, at the front desk checking in your books and stuff, being like, no, we don't have that, sorry, go and piss off and come back to me for something else. Um, there is some multimedia key options along the top as well. So if you want to turn up your volume, turn it down, you can do all that, play, pause, um, next track, previous track. It is compatible with obviously all the Windows operating systems as well as Mac. So if you do want to use it on a Mac operating system, you can do that. Plug and play, there's no drivers, literally nothing at all. So you get key cap puller to pull up the keys. Um, the cable's pre-attached. It's very, very simple to use. And for $66, like, I don't know if you guys can hear that. I might just do a typing test for a second, but it sounds really, really good. So this is me typing on this keyboard um, with my microphone probably like, I don't know, 30 centimeters away from it. I will say that like the number lock, the space bar, the enter key, because these keys are a little bit wider, they probably don't have the, the dampening under them like some of these smaller keys do. Um, so they do feel like a little bit clicky there in the center, but then on the outside, it's not too bad. But the actual keys that you're typing on most of the time actually sound really good. And I feel like if you're just like gaming, streaming, you know, no one's gonna be able to really hear you through the microphone. So, what do I think about this keyboard? Um, for $66, I 
I don't think it's a bad buy. I actually think it's a really, really solid purchase. It would have been nice if it had a backlight, even if it was an RGB, just a backlight for maybe at nighttime, because I don't think that these characters are gonna be easy to recognize um, when it is completely dark, to be honest with you. Um, like they're kind of like a gray font. They re it is a really nice font. It's actually one of the better fonts that I've seen on a budget keyboard. Some of them look super techy and robotic and futuristically but it kind of just comes off as tacky and cheap. But this one actually looks really nice. Like I feel like you could have this in an office, in a gaming situation, um, and aesthetically it looks quite pleasing. Typing on it felt, you know, really, really good. Ergonomics doesn't move around. It's got a nice shape to it. Not too heavy, not too light. It's a good product. Um, now, if you guys want to actually win one of these keyboards, I am going to be doing a giveaway on Instagram, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, they actually sent over two of these keyboards. I've got the other one here literally still all wrapped up in the packaging haven't actually touched this one at all so we've got a second one here from habit for them to you know they gave this to me so i can give it to you guys so get subscribed to the channel if you like this kind of content if you enjoyed the review let me know but um good product from habit i think i'd probably give it like a 7.3 out of 10 i reckon that's a pretty 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 solid score um would have been nice to have a detachable cable and a backlight that's probably the only two things but in terms of typing on the keyboard and the keycaps switches and all that kind of stuff um they've done a really really good job especially keeping it at 66 dollars and it's free shipping worldwide as well with an 18 month warranty so like really you can't go wrong thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one cheers